Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week Monday through Thursday which will be August 22nd through the 25th. I have been crazy cross-listing. I'm trying this month to get as much stuff listed as I possibly can and as much stuff cross-listed um, just to make sure I get lots of different eyes on my stuff and I think I encourage everybody to be doing that don't don't have all your eggs in one basket and let's see what else I finally got my um, affiliate link for American Bubble Boy we have been using them forever I do the subscription which is really nice because you don't even have to think about it you know it just shows up every month like clockwork and it's simple I find it the most reasonable one I as far as price that I have found also and just if you haven't checked them out please I encourage you to go ahead and you know click on my link and test it out for yourself and also hopefully by the end of next week um, Bolo Buddies, Courtney and I kind of did a little bit of a collaboration. We both have been um, seeing lots of posts about haul sale. Um, Lori, my co-host, had talked about it in our Facebook group and in the live about how she's been testing it out. So we went ahead and agreed. I made a listing that I posted on there. I posted um, 15 plush. And I'm going to be showing how the listing process worked. Y'all, it was easy, easy listing. And then she purchased it, and she's going to show that aspect of it. And we'll just kind of try to coordinate our videos so that, you know, you can check both sides of it. But I think anybody who has an issue um, sourcing, but anybody who likes to buy bulk right now... There's lots of stuff listed on there in bulk. Kids clothes, just everything. But there is a lot of plush. Um, if you're having a hard time sourcing, go check it out. Um, because, you know, I like that, you know, it tells you how much you're spending per item and it uh, includes everything, the shipping, the taxes and everything. It was just seamless as far as I was concerned um, so I think it's an up-and-coming platform that you know it's exciting to be in on the the beginnings of it and one other thing oh two other things I wanted to thank Kim for the buy me a coffee I really appreciate the support um, Kim's the viewer that I went and purchased all the plush from that I'm working on right now and um, also I wanted to thank Susan for the super chat um, that I received in one of my videos so thank you very much both of you um, it makes me smile all right now let's get to the reason why we're here y'all this is take two by the way because I forgot to get the microphone moved so I already did this video once this is just par for the course for me I, I'm the type of eBayer because I've been on eBay 23 years I don't mind listing the small stuff a lot of times I have bulk buys I go to the bins I buy a lot of stuff and I'm okay with listing small dollar stuff I did a video last year I think it was around September I had Robert um, do a video on everything to that point that I had sold that was $8.99 or less now I do not do free shipping so it was any item that I sold that was $8.99 or less and just up until I think it was September I had made enough to cover my mortgage for the entire year so it all adds up. I talk about that all the time. Sure, I like to make the $50 sale, but you know, I'm gonna sell five $10 items faster than I am going to sell a $50 item. 
and that's just how I do things. It's not for everybody. Not everybody has the space I have. Speaking of under $8, this was an uh, unpainted bisque turkey. I bought a box of this. Um, it was like a fill a box. I don't remember how much I paid, maybe $5. Um, and I just grabbed all of them, especially the ones that were Thanksgiving and Halloween. And I've sold quite a few of them. This turkey, which is small, five and a half inches, sold for $7.10. I bought a large tote of Christmas village stuff at a yard sale for $10. This was part of that. This is a Department 56 family outing skiers figure set. It's just those three little figures that you see in the picture. It sold for best offer of $11. I'm sending out tons of offers and I really think um, it, it helps you sending out those offers just to get your store noticed. This is Spark Create Imagine. Love that brand. It's Walmart. I sell a lot of the dog plush. Some of them I sell for $20, $30, and then there's my bread and butter. For me, bread and butter is $8 to $12. This gray terrier sold for $9.45. Now, I source most of my stuff at yard sales, estate sales, and then we do sourcing trips to the Goodwill bins a couple times a year. Um, so I don't spend a lot. I That's why I like stuffed animals. For the most part, you can get them for cheap and make a decent profit on them. This is a Douglas Pink Flamingo Bird Plush 2016. It sold for best offer of $8. I picked this up at an estate sale. I'm pretty sure I paid $3 for it. It is a vintage Foley three spring stainless steel. It's like a chopper. I don't even have that word in there, but it's like a chopper. When you press the handle down, it just kind of, these blades went up and down. It wasn't in the greatest of condition. It sold for $18.95. I like Haba brand. Pick them up not very often. I think they're more of a high-end toy. Um, but this is just a little four-inch little girl figure. Her name is Lily from the Little Friends series. She sold for $8. I'm sure I probably grabbed it up with all the littles that I like to pick up at the Goodwill bins. This is Fisher Price Little People. Um, I have been listing a lot of it. I had a yard sale find that was full of the figures and furniture and then Farm Girl Scavenger Noel sent me a gift box of just tons of little people and then at the Highway 127 sale I bought a large box that had tons of the figures in it including um, a lot of Sesame Street, two gallon bags of Sesame Street. Actually, this came from, I think, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel's lot um, because I there was four of them in the other one, so there would be a quantity of four, but he sold for $12.30. I picked this up last year when I went to the 100 mile yard sale with my sisters um, in Withful, Virginia. I paid $3 for it. It was in excellent condition, but it's this vintage California Raisins acrylic blanket. It sold for $30. I had been sending out offers, a lot of offers on it for like $35, $34. Nobody was taking me up on it, so I just sent a $30 offer and it was purchased. Robert picked these up at an estate sale. I don't remember how much he paid for them. Just don't even remember. But it was just these, most of them were marked HMQ. Um, they're just metal nutcrackers with four little picks. It sold for $18.95. These I think came from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Also, these are just circus train cars from the Fisher Price Little People. 
it sold for $12.30. This is Disney Dumbo Timothy Mouse plush, 8 inch. I find these quite often, not just, but a lot of the like 8 inch beans from Disney that most of them are going to be in my bread and butter, just like this one. Um, Timothy sold for $7.55. This is Monsters vs. Aliens, Bob the Blob plush, 10 inch. This is Toy Factory, which they put out a lot of character plush. Um, not one of my favorite brands, but I pick it up. This sold for $12, best offer. More um, little people stuff. There's lots of little people. Um, this um, playground set from the school sold for ten dollars best offer this also was from um, the set from noel this was the flatbed trailer to to the lift and load set it sold for nine dollars and 45 cents i'm all about selling individual pieces for the most part because you know i just prefer to sell it for lower dollar i mean i could have made a huge lot but it may have sat for a while, but this allows people who just need that specific set to purchase the one item. Another Fisher Price. This is a Laugh and Learn soccer ball. There's a white one and a yellow one. I usually will pick it up. Again, bread and butter, $7.55. This is another one of the CDs that I picked up at an estate sale. I think I paid about a dollar each. One of my regrets is I just didn't buy all of the CDs that day. I picked and chose which ones I wanted. This one sold for $13. Robert picked this up at an estate sale. I think he bought five hats that day. They were a dollar each. Two of them were these Sherwin-Williams snapbacks. This one sold for $15 best offer. All right, this is... Robert, I think Robert picked this up at an estate sale. It was in a frame, but it wasn't in very good condition at all. In fact, this once I took it out of the frame, there was a lot of discoloration and wear to this. It's a needlepoint finished work of lemons in a basket. It's still sold for $10.25. Little People, again, these are the newer ones. I think this series is probably 2000s. Um, these two figures went to the amusement park. I love little people. I probably actually like these maybe a little bit more than the vintage. I have names. I know the names of these. You know, this is Maggie and Eddie. There's Sonia. There's Michael. There's just a whole series. Freddy the Frog. I just, I loved these when my kids were little because they were they're born in the early 2000s and uh at one point i had a shelves that i put like spice racks in and i tried to buy as many different ones as i possibly could i think i eventually sold them for like 800 dollars. that's how many i had and that was one of those situations where I just went ahead and let somebody buy the whole lot. I know who purchased it. She also sells on eBay and um, she sells a lot of Fisher Price also. But she, it was like $800. I don't remember how many I had, but it was a lot. Kelly Toy, this is a llama alpaca. I usually use both of those words together. It sold for best offer of $9. I bought a like a small cardboard box at an estate sale. I want to say I paid a dollar, but it was full of the webbing to the vintage lawn chairs. I listed several sets that um, were still sealed in the bag, but these were like partially used. So I just went ahead and put these together and they sold for $16. Now this company, Purchases from me on occasion. They are a freight forwarding company. They had purchased these three items. The three toys sold for $29. Um, I like 
working with freight forwarding companies, you know, our responsibility is to get it just to the company um, and then the company deals with sending it on its way. And if there are any issues, the buyer loses all protections at that point. Um, so if they send you a message and you can determine that it's gone through a freight forwarding company, um, you just need to let them know that any issues you're having with your product needs to go through the freight forwarding company because you're done at that point. Lots of people don't think to check. Um, I was trying to help somebody in another group on a Facebook post. It was like, go Google that address, especially if you end up with an address and sometimes they'll try to fool it or hide it saying it's sweet A175, you know, that's a code that they you are using to determine where that needs to go to. Um, but I sold these and then just yesterday I shipped another package for this freight forwarder for 10 more plush. So don't give them issues and they'll just keep coming back. This is Land's End jacket. It sold for $21 best offer. I have not been listing clothes. They're just kind of accumulating and I need to list what we've already processed. It's just so much easier and more fun to list plush. All right, this is a viewer sale. So thank you very much, Sherry. Sherry likes to buy um, a lot of the monkey plush that I list, but she also must be a fan of the Bumble plush. Um, these sold for $33.65. I did send her a refund on part of her shipping. That's just the fair thing to do. This is another viewer sale. Um, so thank you very much, Maya. She bought this white gorilla plush. It sold for $9.45. These next two went to um, the same buyer. These sold immediately. These were from the Little People box that I bought at the Highway 127 sale. Um, this was the Castle Princess. Um, this was a plastic bodied figure. There were also some wood bodied figures in there. This sold for $14.95 and they also bought the Woodsman to the same set for $14.95. Now this is Squishmallow. I picked these up at a yard sale. Um, I bought about, I want to say nine plush for $50. All of them had their tags. Um, most of them were Claire exclusives because the person had worked at Claire's. She had a bunch more, but she only wanted to sell the ones that were on a bench. And so I asked her how much for all. So I agreed to pay $50. I think I've sold one other one so far. I can't remember. But I did sell the Yasmin Hedgehog for $20. And then this also is a viewer sale. So thank you very much, Sharon. She called me the plush professor. I thought that was kind of nice. We have fun in my Facebook group. I'm liking that people feel comfortable posting pictures and asking lots of questions about plush. But this is a hug fun fox plush. She said her daughter collects fox plush and so she bought this to add to her collection. She paid $8.25 for it. Dakin, love that brand, especially the vintage. This is Licorice Lion. I thought it was cute that it had its original t-shirt still, which you never hardly see, and it still had its paper tag. Um, it sold for $17.05. This I believe was from my online estate sale that I um, picked up through high bid last year. This is an Avon Flame Foundation Teddy Bear Plush um, for the Breast Cancer Awareness. It sold for $9.45 also. This is from um, the Special Olympics in Louisiana. I guess their mascot was Pierre Pelican. This sold for $10.40. And then the last item on eBay is this Puzzled Dolphin Porpoise Plush, 19 inches long. It sold for a best offer of 
Now I did have two sales on other platforms. Um, on Posh, this is a Kelly Toy Tie-Dye Rabbit. It's 20 inches from 2018. It sold for $26. I have been doing a whole lot of cross-listing of toys and hard goods on there. I already have most of my clothing already cross-listed, so I've just been cross-listing like crazy. And it's starting to sell more regularly for me. Nothing like eBay because, you know, I have a ton listed on eBay, but we're getting there. And then Robert picked this Francoma stuff up. He went to the last day of an estate sale. It was fill a box. He brought home a several boxes that had the Francoma in. This is the centerpiece bowl. I didn't quite figure out how to what to call it. It sold already on Poshmark for $36. Facebook. I'm down to under 500 listings left. I have been, anytime I have a few extra minutes, I sit, like if we're driving somewhere, and just delete, delete. It's one at a time, and I had 2,400 listings on there. But my plan is to go ahead and finish getting everything deleted on there, and then I'm going to pick certain like categories. Maybe I'll put all of my little people on there, leave it there for a couple of weeks and see um, what sells. And then after a set amount of time, just remove all of it and pick something else. I'm not just going to let stuff sit there. I'm definitely not going to use their delete and relist button because I ended up with a lot of duplicates because it wasn't functioning properly and a lot of um, picture uh, listings with no pictures after a while. It's like they threw their hands in the air and said, nope, we're not working anymore. But I'm still going to use it. I'm hoping smaller batches of stuff and don't leave it on there forever. I've been on there for, I wanna say a year and a half maybe, and it was amazing in the beginning but they've definitely got growing pains and they're not working they're not growing old easily gracefully all right and then two mercaris this is ugly doll i pick them up all the time some of them do really well and then others like this are just bread and butter this green ox plush pillow sold for nine dollars and then a four dollar sale because I'll, if I've got it, I'm going to list it. If I find something to go with it that's similar, I'm not just going to throw stuff together. But if it's similar, if I had found the Lion King, I mean the Simba plush that was this size from that series, I would have put it together. And I've talked about this before. A lot of times I list, list stuff, even though I'd prefer it not be listed for $4. Um but it's easier for me to find it in my inventory system than if I set it aside and put it in a basket. Um, so I just go ahead and list it. And then as I find other things, a lot of times I just go into my inventory and I'm like, okay, do I have any other Lion King stuff listed? See if there's something I can pair it with and then I'll just end it and redo it. But that's just easier for me because when you have as much stuff listed and unlisted for me, it helps me stay organized, helps me find stuff because it's easier to find something that's been put away in a basket and inventoried than in this. I have stuff tucked everywhere, but it eventually gets listed, eventually. It's Thursday here. Robert and I actually ran out real quick this morning. There was a sale at Auroraton, which is just down the road from our house. Um, so we were there right after they opened. There was tons of stuff and really cheap. I didn't still find a whole lot there, but Robert was the winner. I'll show you guys. I'm finding comps all over. $30 to hundreds of dollars. It is, I'm pretty sure this is series one because it's dated... 1996-1997. It's a in-the-box Tamagotchi. I will take it out and test it. Um, it's not sealed up here. 
So I'll make sure it's working, show that it's working, and then I got some research to do because that's big difference in prices. But I think he did much better than I. I think I found maybe Tupperware. So, all right. I've got lots of stuff to be working on in my profit piles. I've got the 1200 plush I'm still working on. It's just busy, busy, busy. This is the month. Get your stuff for Halloween listed, Thanksgiving, and fourth quarter Christmas as much as you can. All right. Bye.